again. Okay, so I have to get real close um, because this thing doesn't pick up very well with the microphone apparently. Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I don't even know my name. I've gotten so many. I've been in so many communities that I've lived in um, throughout my life, not always by choice. Moving around a lot, but you know, rent's difficult sometimes when you have like a baby, you know, or two. You don't have a college degree. Yeah, yeah, I could work at McDonald's, Mervyn's, a phone bank, maybe a bar. Restaurant, busboy, maybe a waiter, prep chef, you know, do carpentry, maybe even apprentice. I think the trades are a good way to go. I think the trades should be taught again everywhere so we have skills again. Building houses is cool, you know, from plans and stuff. What we're lacking nowadays in this race to get more shit, bigger, better, for only 40 hours a week, maybe 60. You too can have all of this where all people go. We used to hang out. It's the point of life, man. Sure as fuck ain't to work. Or we'd be happier doing it. It'd be a joy. We'd go and be like, yeah, I'm in touch with God. Oh, we're allowed to get in touch with God on Sundays between 11.30 and 2. <laughs> you get your God time. Maybe before bed. If you're real lucky get to be like Muslim, man, five times a day, God time, and then you got the Buddhists, they real smart, and the monks, they fucking just sit with God all for hours, doing meditation, sitting down, just being with God, saying, hey, I'm fucked up, I'm having a hard time, help me, and then God helps us. I think what it comes down to for me is quality over quantity. Who gives a fuck if you live to be 127 years old? If you work 80 hours a week and you're not happy, then you don't really have anything to show for it at the end because it gets taken in taxes, death tax, inheritance tax, income tax, transfer tax. It used to be that money went to places where we got to vote for it where we got to suggest, or we all agreed anyway. We knew where we wanted to go in our community. We wanted to see it go into the businesses in the community, support, you know, our friends and neighbors and having houses and shit and being able to get around, have a good job and be happy. And we'd hang out, go to each other's houses, have dinner together, have, you know, see each other walking around the field. I guess I feel like that's been lost in a lot of the cities that I've been in. And, I mean, there's still the neighborhood, but the neighborhood, there's still something economic pushing stuff around. And I've seen too many cities where Martin Luther King Boulevard, Martin Luther King Jr. The man was a beautiful man. The things he said, he really believed in. And they were all from a place of seeking people, being able to get along together and be in joy together and happy and and not oppressing one another, not owning one another, pushing each other around, being bullied. And yeah, man, that made the bully real mad. The bully's got guns now. Or at least they can find people 
and give them guns. Because they ain't shooting people. The bullies nowadays behind desks. Real benign looking. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix, right? These are the cats that can watch me right now through this camera. Really, really, really. Of course. Chemtrails. Whatever. You know shit's going on. That shit makes it so that all the air is psychic. They can hit all our brains, tap us, see everything we think, and watch us on a screen and talk to us. Yeah. Individually. Pick people out and shit. <laughs> Ooh. And then what? You think they want to sit around and be unhappy? I mean, they got all their shit. Sure, man. But they all want to be happy, too. They're trapped under the stuff. We gotta save them. Imagine having all that weight on your shoulders. Can I imagine having all that weight on my shoulders? I'm gonna try. <laughs> 